So, What's up, guys? Your first season, not as the showrunner. Liberating, frustrating, all of the above? Yes, yes. <laughs> no, it's, you know, I was, it, it wasn't as though I stepped away completely. I was there pretty much every day. Um, I just wanted a year where I could actually go home and stop thinking about the show. And I think Reed and Eli did an extraordinary job in terms of, um, you know, taking over the, the day-to-day responsibility. Um, I think I, we worked well together. I was still there to sort of guide the show and give my two cents. But ultimately, they, you know, they were the showrunners, and, and it was a little frustrating. There were sometimes, you know, decisions made where it's a, it's hard for a control freak like me to give up control. Um, but I think overall, I'm very pleased with the way the show turned out. It's, it's a di- it feels like a different, a little bit different this year, and I think that's a good thing in a third season. It sort of gives the show new energy and a new vibe. And, and you talk about it being a little bit different. Um, Reed was here earlier, and he was talking about the importance of the maintaining a lot of that continuity um, from the first two seasons. I mean, was that was that an important thing for? Did you think that was an important thing as well? Like you guys had established all this in the first two seasons, you kind of wanted to kind of the it's not broke, don't don't fix it kind of thing. Yeah, I mean that uh, my my hope for the show, and I think that it, we basically achieved this, was that it would be the same show that it's always been, just with some new surprises, some new twists and turns, and and um, you know we can't forget everything that had come before. The show stayed the same, and every show has sort of a theme, uh, uh, an issue that Ryan is struggling with, and Wilford throws up some, uh, doesn't throw up, he throws out <laughs> some, uh, you know, obstacles that Ryan has to overcome, and, you know, we continue the the sort of mis- myster- mysterious mythological elements, what is Wilford, what's his origins, we have a pretty big reveal at the end of the season that answers a few questions and raises raises many more um, as a good season finale show. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah it's, it's, it's really actually that's we sort of think about where we want to end up and then we work our way we work our way there that's how we plot out the season. I think the, the emphasis this year has been a little bit more on comedy um, and I think it's particularly early on in the season. Um, I also think there's been a lot more emphasis on um, what's going on with Wilfred rather than just what's going on with Ryan. Um, and I, uh, <laughs> I'll cut myself off there. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something about that. I just want you to give away something, to tell us something that we can look forward to. Uh, I will say this, next, next week, um, a pretty significant character in Ryan, from Ryan's past comes back, and um, that's um, that will sort of the, the season really turns next year. Basically, all of our seasons have followed that followed that same trajectory. The first first half has been sort of light and fun, and then there's usually an episode in the middle of it that sort of turns it towards the finale, and that that happens next week. Um, so I'm excited to see how uh, the audience will receive that. It's an episode I wrote, and I'm really, I'm really excited about it. Yeah. It's kind of a fun Scooby-Doo mystery, but it has some, some uh, more complex elements to it. I like it already, just from that description. Yeah. It's a really fast-moving show, too. Is that something you guys intend? At least to me, it's like uh, some uh, sitcoms are kind of, I don't know, slow when you're watching it. Wilford seems like, it, to me, it's over. It seems it starts up just like, wow. Well, that's good. That To me, that says that you're, you're entertained and you're enjoying it. And we only have 13 episodes a season. So in terms of, like, story arc, we don't have time to sort of... We don't, we don't have time to tread a lot of water um, because we, we tend to tell pretty ambitious arcs. So every episode has to really move and get Ryan from point A to, you know, point F, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I spoke with Jason um, a few weeks ago, and he talked about how he and you had a, a, a very uh, lively debate over uh, the magical being of Wilfred. Uh, can maybe you tell me a little bit about about that kind of that that exchange and in uh, trying to not only hammer out what he is, but as well as plan out how to reveal that and, and at what pace. Well, the, the pace is really. Um, that's the hard 
part because we don't really know how many seasons we have. Um, I think that we may have moved at a more accelerated rate this season than I might have wanted to. Um, I think we, we get a little farther along than, than um, we, might, we might have. Um, but we don't know how long we're going to be on the air. Um, in terms of the, the magical creature versus uh, you know, mental illness, that was a debate we had a lot along the way. I think as an actor it was difficult for Jason to play a character that he didn't think existed. And if Wilfred is completely in Ryan's imagination, it was. I think that was the challenge for him. And I, I, by the same token, I I wasn't sold on the whole magical creature element. That wasn't my conception of the show. Mm -hmm. I think where we end up going is in. It's neither one nor the other. Okay. It's it's actually much more interesting than yeah. either than either one way or the other. Okay. Um, now, given that you guys don't know when your end is. Do you guys wind up shooting like two finales, just in case you have to? I guess like at one day have to tell what it is that he is. Or? No, and and here's why: because if um, if FX cancels us, I want the fans to be so angry that they say we gotta know how it ends. We gotta know how it ends. Yeah. So that they uh, they insist that we get one more season. So <laughs> we uh, you know if if we get canceled after this season, there's. There's going to be an awful lot of mystery uh, left unsolved. So hopefully, I mean, I'd like to get another two or three years out of the show. I'm hopeful that that, that we have that kind of longevity. Um, we're you know we're not we're not a mass appeal show. We're we're a weird little existential stoner comedy, and that's not for everybody. Um, but it, I mean, I, I think it is for everybody. I, don't get me wrong. I would love everybody to watch, but we're gonna have we're gonna have a small, dedicated audience, and hopefully, we can expand that out a little bit this season by spending a little more time on the you know the funny and the and the goofier hijinks of Wilfred. That was the idea. I, why was it important to have that for you guys to come in with that focus? Why was it important you guys to have that you know focus on the comedy that you that you started the season with? Why was that such a strong emphasis for you guys? Well, I think that there were some there were some people who felt like the show might have gotten a little too. Um, and this I completely disagree with this, by the way. But I think that there was some feeling that the show had gotten a little too dark. Um, last season, um, and the thought was that if we um, lightened up a little bit and spent a little more time on the comedy, that perhaps that would broaden our audience. Um, I don't know that that's really played out this season so far. I think that our audience is what our audience is, and I think they have certain expectations about the show. Hopefully we haven't changed the show so drastically that fans can't still enjoy it. But um, I think that um, I think that there was just a general feeling like, hey, maybe if we lighten up a little bit, more people will come to the party. And again, I don't know. I'm not a, a research guy. I'd, I'd be curious to know if that bore out. I don't. I don't think that it did, judging from the uh, numbers. I actually haven't looked at the numbers. Have you? I haven't. But I. I. I mean, I. To me, that this show is still true to it. So I, I yeah. Think. Yeah. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I like I like the more complex, darker, um, weirder elements of the show, um, and um, I think that we veered a little bit farther away from that this year, but towards the, the more comedic elements. But I'm really glad to hear that you think it's consistent.